Hello, everybody. It's Craft and Just Because with Chris Callen. We are going to play with the Cake Fancy stamp set. And I also have the Air Balloon um, Designer Series paper, some Azure Afternoon cardstock, basic white cardstock. And then I have um, some stamp pads that match or coordinate with the, um, the Designer Series paper. I have Azure Afternoon, Petal Pink balmy blue and lemon lolly so first we need to cut our pieces we're gonna make a fun fold card today okay so first I need a card base and we're gonna use that azure afternoon and we're gonna make it four and an eighth by 10 and seven eighths. So four and an eighth by 10 and seven eighths. Okay. And then we are gonna score this piece of paper on that 10 and seven eighths side at six inches. At seven and one eighth. at nine and at 10 and one eighth. And if you're not familiar with your eighths, it's the second little tick line. Okay, so we have that. Then I also need another piece of um, Azure Afternoon that is six inches by three inches and we're going to score that on the six inch side as well at a half an inch and at one and five eighths and that's two ticks past the half inch okay then we're going to want some designer series paper and I'm going to cut a piece that is four by four and three eighths. So I've got to, let's make sure this is four. Now we're going to trim a hair off and then four and what did I say? Three eighths. So that's two hairs under the half inch. Okay, then I also need another piece that is four by one and five eighths. So I'm gonna go four inches by one and five eighths. Okay. And I think that's it on that. Then on the basic white, I want a piece that is three and three quarters by five and five eighths. So that's five eighths and then um, three and three quarters. And that's gonna be for the back for you to write a message on. And then I need another piece that is four and an eighth by two and three quarters. And this piece we're going to stamp on. Okay, so I think I have all my pieces. I'm gonna have a piece ready to stamp. get my block out and I'm just trying to see how I want to lay this out That'll work. 
Okay, I just wanted to make sure I was going to fit on there. So I'm going to make the cake stand that is Zer Afternoon. And let me go ahead and get a wipey so we can wipe our stamps clean when we're done here. Whoops. Okay. Okay, there's our cake plate. And then I'm going to make the cake like a lemon cake. So we're gonna bring in that lemon lolly. And that's what we're gonna do this layer. actually going to try to do two layers here. Okay. So there's our lemon lolly. And then I'm going to make the frosting a light pink. So we're going to use the petal pink. Just like that. And then I'm going to put a bow on there. And I'm going to do that in petal pink as well. You know what? Let's do it in the center. We'll make it look like it's frosting. Okay. And then, um, I'm gonna do do enjoy using the balmy blue just like that and I was trying to, I think that's all I'm going to do. I don't want to over, overcrowd it. Is this supposed to be pink? No. Okay. Okay. So we have all of our stamping done. I'm going to come in with my wink of Stella and just glitter up the frosting. a little bit on the cake stand but it does have a little bit of a oh we should do the bow too okay so there's that 
Now what we want to do is we want to fold and burnish our pieces here. So how this is going to work is this is going to this is going to pop out like this. And then we'll have our designer series paper there, our designer series paper there. And then This will go like this with our piece here. And I do, I think, want to add a bow when we do it. So let's add our um, pieces of designer series paper and stamped pieces down. adding glue to that little tab and I'm just going to fold that over onto itself and then it'll sit up like that and then we need to add our designer series paper added it on prior but that's okay let's see I took an eighth of an inch off let's see if that works better and let's take a tiny bit more off there we go okay that looks better to me. So I'm gonna add that down. Just like that. And then we also want to go for it. So I'm putting glue on the tab and then on that lower half and we're just going to line it up with the bottom of that score line evenly. And I'm going to rub my bone folder over it just like that. And then this piece is for the back for you to write your message on. And then I wanted to add a bow and I was thinking of going through here or should I do it? Hmm. Hmm. 
Maybe this is how we'll do it. Then that way you could see it from the side and the top. ribbon scissors and trim that down and trim that down and I think that is our card my friends I love how it turned out I love the light colors I made another one earlier um, on a live and used bright colors and I didn't like it as much I think these colors pair nicely with it you know, we could add some embellishments here. Let's see here. Maybe just a couple blings. Just like that. I like that. So that's our project for today, my friends. Thank you for joining me as usual. And until next time, my creative peeps, I will see you later. Have a great night. Bye-bye.